All right, well, welcome back to our next video. We're here in Vancouver for the day, and April and Braxton are tired and sleepy. There are sleeping people in our family, so I'm having a special breakfast here with this guy. Good morning, guys. Um, like and subscribe, and I'm eating breakfast with my dad. Um, and we're eating breakfast at Tim. Horton. Eating breakfast at Tim Hortons, a Canadian classic. This is like, uh, this is kind of like the Dunkin' Donuts of Canada. Did you know that? Let's show them what you got. What did you get? What did you want? So we got, uh, <coughs> we got, uh, I think honey dip. Yeah, the honey, honey dip. Donut holes. Uh -huh. So why don't you try one of those and tell us what you think. It's kind of a little sugary. A little sugary? It's good. It's good? Okay. I'm going to go find us some napkins so we can get our other note outside. Then we'll come back and show them what we got, okay? Okay, so you're a fan of the honey dipped donut holes, right? We also got a. Brooks wanted a maple. He's obsessed with maple syrup, right? So I said, well, that's the closest thing they have here. We're going to try to go get him some pancakes. I think we found a spot for dinner that serves breakfast for dinner and has maple syrup and pancakes. And I got a chocolate cream filled, which kind of got destroyed in the bag just a little bit. And then a sour cream, which I love sour cream donuts, and I can't hardly find them at home anymore, so oh. we're going to try it. By the way, me and my dad actually might um, buy maple syrup, but syrup in Canada is so good that, you know, I'm going to eat everything. I'm going to eat all the syrup. So... No more cereal for you when you go to Canada. <laughs> Alright, so like we said in, as we ended the video last night, we're staying at the Hyatt Regency Vancouver uh, here. It's pretty close to Canada Place, the cruise terminal. But right next door is the Tim Hortons. There's a McDonald's here. Um, so end up getting ice. They have sugar-free iced coffee. Our McDonald's in Oklahoma do not have sugar-free iced coffee. I, and uh, I don't like it. But uh, we did get some here. You want to grab your drink? But I wanted to come back in here, and I did find what I was looking for uh, in this little mall area. I'll show you. Uh, need to get just a little bit of Canadian currency. And uh, so we came to find an ATM, so we're going to do that. We've got that maple donut for Bubba, don't we? But we'll come back if we need to with Mom and Bubba wake up because we're really close to that Tim Hortons, aren't we? Okay, well, can we get some Canadian money? And then we'll go back and see Mom and Bubba. Okay, let's see if we'll go back and see if they're awake, all right? All right, so what'd you get? I got some money. You got some Canadian money? Let's look at it. How much is that one worth? 20. 20 what? 20 dollars. 20 Canadian dollars. Do you know that's different than the U.S. dollar? It's actually not worth as much. That's only worth about 15 U.S. dollars. This ATM was really nice. It gave us, take those green ones off there. We got some in 20s. It gave us some in 5s. So we have some smaller. And it gave us some in 10s. Look at those purple ones. That's cool, isn't it? What do you think of that money? Wait, but are these the presidents? Yeah. From the Canada? From Canada? Yeah. That one says Deputy Governor Sir Wilfred Laurian. Prime Minister from 1896 to 1911. It's a long time ago, isn't it? 20, 20. And on the 10 is Viola Desmond. It doesn't say what she did. You'll have to look her up. 100, 120, okay. 140. All right, let's pick that money up. Let's get it put away. Yes. Okay, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right, now we can do some things in Canada. So I'll say at this ATM, I got about a dollar thirty-four exchange rate, I think. So, um, and I think the current one 
I think the actual official would today. I just looked on my phone is a dollar thirty seven, so that's not too bad at all. I think uh, I'd probably get about a dollar twenty five if I would have done it at the train station or the airport if we drive that way. But dollar uh, thirty four compared to the actual one, a dollar thirty seven. That's that's pretty good uh, for uh, exchanging that out of the ATM. So what are you doing right there? You posing for me? All right. There is a drugstore in here. Um, I don't really know what kind of, I don't think this is a mall mall, but it's got a Staples downstairs and a food court. Um, we may check it out a little more later. We're going to run over and see what uh, Mom and Braxton see if they're awake. But there is actually a hallway from this place that connects into our hotel this way. So uh, so we're just going to head this way. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll check in. There's a, little a couple little shops here. We'll go see if Mom and Braxton are awake. All right, we're out and about. April and Braxton are up. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. I've we didn't been see up. you guys. You've been up for well. <laughs> it's uh, what time is it? Eleven. It's eleven, and you've been up for an hour. So you have been up. We're gonna head down and find some lunch, and then go do a little hiking in Stanley Park. Are you ready? Oh yeah. 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 You got your puffer jacket on. Is it a little chilly out here? Yeah, I'm a it's puffer a fish. Mm, it may rain a little bit today. Yeah. But we'll be all right. We got our rain stuff. We got our umbrellas. We're walking towards uh, the ocean here or towards Canada Place down towards the water in Vancouver. And we'll see if we can find something to eat. Okay, so we were looking for something kind of quick to eat because it's supposed to rain a little bit this afternoon. And we wanted to kind of eat and get out of here. And so we're coming down to the waterfront center. They've got a food court down here with some options. So we'll kind of see. Got a McDonald's, huh? Looks like they got a lot of options. So we'll kind of see what uh, looks good to us down here. All right, so we got us some lunch. Okay, so we got us some lunch. What did you get? Uh, sushi. Sushi. You got a, what was the first one called? This one was a... Crazy California Crazy California, California roll. roll. You haven't started that That's yet. Like the other the chicken teriyaki. Yeah, teriyaki chicken. Is it good? That's the one you're working on? Brooks, what'd you get? So I got fish and cheese. Shocker there for the second day in a row. And mom got breakfast. How's that? Good. With pancakes and maple syrup. Brooks, we found somewhere with pancakes and maple syrup. Yeah. We'll have to come back and get you. They're open for breakfast here. They got, they April and Brooks both ate a fat burger. There's a sushi place in here, and then I went to, it's like teriyaki chicken and beef bowl, and they have a chicken samosa in here, so it looks good. How's the breakfast, Mom? Good. See that plane taking off? Hey, how was your fish and chips? That was good. It was good. Are you talking, talking country, like you're from Oklahoma or something? Are you? Nose running? <laughs> How was the sushi? Good. Good? You liked it? Mom, breakfast was good? Yeah, the sushi was better. The teriyaki stir fry was good. The chicken samosa was excellent that they had. I'm glad I got one of those. We came over, you can exit right into Canada Place from that, uh, from the waterfront and the Holland America Konings Dam is here on a Saturday. We got some seaplanes taking off out here, but we're going to run and jump on the bus and head over to Stanley Park, which you can see Stanley Park right across the water over there. Oh, well, nice area down here. There's a lot of restaurants and things. There's some in this building across from Canada Place, and then of course the waterfront where we were uh, is underneath, <laughs> kind of underneath the, uh, where are we going the street here. I think we're going to the park right across oh, yeah. over there. And where are we hiking? Over there. We'll see. You can hike over there? I don't know that hiking is the right word. It's more like walking, but I think there's a few hills. So oh, let's head that I, way. I thought you meant like, I thought you meant like hiking all the way over there. No, not all the way over there. Uh, no, like one of those mountains. No, not a mountain. Uh, more like some hills. Okay, we're going to head off that way. So we did take bus number 19 from downtown. Uh, close to the waterfront over to here it was three dollars Canadian for April and I and the boys ride free uh, pretty quick and easy to jump on the Stanley Park bus and we got off right at the first stop in the park uh, pipeline road and we're just gonna do some walking and look at some things here in the park
here because there's a nice little restroom and gift shop. I say nice restroom. I wouldn't say it's great. Restroom and gift shop. Brooks is hung up reading the sign in front of the totem poles. What'd you say about Brooks? He would be a good museum guy because he likes. He loves reading those signs. They go with stuff. I'm sorry. And Braxton's just relaxing on a rock over here, so. But beautiful scenery here in uh, Stanley Park. I even had to put my sunglasses on a little bit. We're going to walk out to the Brockton Point Lighthouse here on the edge, and then we'll probably come back through here and look at the rest of the totem poles once we're done out there and take another bathroom break before we continue on around the park. Um, hello, guys. Um, good afternoon. Um, so, I learned about those statues. Oh, wait, what? Totem poles. I remember that, oh, can someone remind me? Oh, yeah. Um, she was the last person, um, to, like, do something for, like, a long time, and it was. Guess how long she's lived for? 1935 to 2000 to 2002. I know. And something. Um, it said a killer whale. Something. And all I remember is she was the last one to survive of her family, I think. So. Yeah. A killer whale, um, well, not every time, but like someone picked up a bone or something, um, when they saw a killer whale. So, yeah. Wait, what? Hold up. Let me show you something really special. Um, by the way, look what she's thinking of right now. Staring at the camera. All right, so we came on out here to the, I think it's called the Brockton Point Lighthouse up here above me. And so just enjoying the view from out here. Had a great view of the ships in port, one of the Princess ships and the Holland America Coatings Dam. And we're just going to continue over on one. I think we can go up on top of this little fort looking structure, but we will uh, see here in just a second. Okay, somebody found him another sign to read here about the lighthouse. You like reading these signs? Yeah. You like learning about stuff like this? Pretty cool, huh? What? Great view from up here on uh, by the lighthouse. find these stories are celebrated in some spirits totem pole carvings cool so it's telling a story yeah those are cool and look at all these signs you have to read about them Oscar this one named Oscar Oscar Maltipi back to the totem pole area after the lighthouse and Brooks is looking at reading all the signs about the totem poles uh, he's really into reading about things so that's cool and I think we're gonna walk and look at one more thing over at uh, Prospect Point it's kind of a lookout with a good picture spot 
and so I think we're gonna walk over there and it's up a little hill so a little bit of a hike and then we're going to head back to the hotel so um, but I think that'll take us a little bit to get over there and uh, we'll show you the view once we get there look what mom found Brooks Can I buy some instead of buying that shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you should, I can't pick that one up. I'm going to take a picture. You're crazy, Brooksy. Yeah, the big one. This one? Yeah. Turn it around like and Brooks is wanting to spend some of his souvenir money on this shirt. It's pretty cool. May the forest be with you. That would be good to wear to Disney, wouldn't it? Yeah, and we found some maple syrup. And you found some maple syrup. All right, so we started down by the lighthouse, and then the totem poles are right over in that direction. And then now we've come all the way around. We're about halfway over to Lookout Point, which is over by the bridge. So we're going to keep on heading around. Somebody found him another sign to read about the statue out here on the uh, on the rock. Pretty cool. Got a little seal, and I just missed it. I think it went under. We were looking at the seal out here. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> Brooks asked me if I had any seal food. I said I left it at the hotel, didn't I? And then, just to make a joke. Seafood, but seal food. I think yeah. we should go grab seafood. Yeah, so okay, well, I don't know where he went. Animal. Okay. About to head, we're about to break off the main path and head up to Prospect Point, which is up here somewhere. Okay, so we're actually heading back where we've already walked. Google Maps did not, kind of told us there was a trail where there was not a trail. We did see the seal out here again, though. But Google Maps told us there was a trail where there is not a trail. And so we're going back to the last trail and going to catch it up. Hopefully, we can find our way up to Prospect Point. Okay, so we made our we made our own little trail. It's stinky up here. We made our own little trail up through the woods. I think Google Maps was a little confused. We were supposed to be on this from a little while ago. Now we're up above the seawall and going to head over now towards the point. Okay, everybody found them some walking sticks. We need it on this trail. We're going up. <laughs> Said, do we go left or up? <laughs> We're going up. All right, so we made it up the hill. That trail was pretty fun, a little bit steep. Made it up to the lookout. Beautiful view now, looking kind of the opposite way of the city awesome view here hey Brooksy how was that hike it was very good you good you found your walking stick luckily didn't you that was mom's idea uh-huh yeah how about you B did you like that hike up the hill did you like that high hike up the hill yeah we started me and my brother started playing Star Wars Star Wars with your little walking stick yeah he almost knocked me off of the hill he almost knocked you off the hill he saved you Hey, look over there. Look what I see. Something to read. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so we got some ice cream up here at Prospect Point. My man over there got lemon ice cream. Is that right? Lemon? Oh. You got cookie, cookies and cream? What kind did you get? Um, um, 
Vanilla. Vanilla. You're an old fashioned vanilla guy. Uh, uh, Mom and I are sharing a scoop of what's what we got salted. Uh, no, the salted caramel. We let Mom try it and it was super strong. Brown butter pecan. Brown butter pecan and maple walnut. Looking forward to the maple. And Braxton got what? Chocolate. Brother. Braxton got chocolate chip cookie dough. How is it? Good. Good? Everybody's good? Okay, starting to sprinkle on us. I'm going to move under this umbrella. Nice area. They do have a restaurant inside. It's kind of a quick service restaurant up here at Prospect Point. And then the ice cream place. There's a gift shop up here. And of course, we came from the Overlook out there. So, cookie dough ice cream good? All right, let's finish our ice cream. Is it good over there? You better lick that. Doesn't melt as fast as it does in Oklahoma, does it? No, it's hot. What just happened? I lost my sunglasses. Oh, I thought I left my sunglasses back there, but we caught. But we got my sunglasses. Brother saved, saved the day, huh? Second time today. You guys can do nice things for each other, huh? <laughs> he saved you twice in the last 30 minutes. <laughs> what we were be doing this in the rain. Dad, these are trees that look bigger than they seem if you do that. Okay, Mom, what have you told me 18 times since we've been in this park? That I could live in Vancouver. You could live in Vancouver? I Vancouver's pretty this. cool. It's beautiful. It's clean. We got a nice break on the weather today. It's supposed to rain. Nice. I've just been in shorts and a t-shirt all day. If you hit me with that stick again, bro, what are you gonna do? I'm going to mess you up. <laughs> oh, guys. Where are we? What is this little place? Guys, we should... Like a little storage shelter for some Woo! sand and dirt and stuff, Woo! probably Woo! for the winter. We're just following a little trail back to the bus stop here so we didn't have to walk down the road the whole time. I've been walking around the lake here but I guess the side we're on you don't really get a great view of the lake because of all the grasses and everything but we're going to turn and head back to the bus stop mom how many miles we got today do you know what was that we've walked a lot of miles I think we were over three when we got to prospect you don't think more than yesterday? Wait, did we actually? No, we've walked more today than yesterday. What, actually? Yeah. 6.7 miles, good job team. Good job team, 6.2, okay, we'll take it. It was a good day, we're gonna head to the bus stop. So 6.2 miles, that probably includes what little we walked around town before we got out here. But that's a good active day, weather's been beautiful. I've been in shorts and a t-shirt all day. Look at me. Ready? Funny videos. Ready? I'm happy, happy, happy. Okay. We're going to head to the bus stop. We're running out of juice. It's funny. It's a tall tree. It's funny. All right. Here we go. We're going to head back to the uh, bus stop. I've said it four times. All right. Made it back to the Hyatt Regency. Had a fun time at Stanley Park. Would you guys all agree? Yeah. yeah. Say it again. Sorry, Mom. Loved it. Braxton, did you have a good time? Mm. It was a little slow to start with, wasn't it, B? But then the hiking, did you like the hiking part? Once the trails got harder, Braxton, look. Did you like it once the trails got harder? Yeah. Yeah. Brooks, did you have a good time? What are you having over there? Fruit roll up? Get you a little snack? A little pick me up? All right, I think we're going to rest a little bit and then we're going to get cleaned up and showered up and go have dinner. And. Tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? Hopping on a cruise ship. Hopping on a cruise ship. That's right. So we're going to get cleaned up and go have dinner. Everybody hungry? Yes. We work up an appetite? Yes. Okay. Mom, what was your favorite part about the park? I don't know, just the weather. It was nice. 
the weather. Braxton, what was your favorite thing we did at the park? Uh, with the stick. When you had the stick going up the big hill? Or the ice cream. Yeah. Brooksy, what was your favorite part? Braxton saving me. Braxton saving you from what? For the first time. Um, when, you, when you about fell off the cliff? And him saving me for the first time. Oh, uh, with your sunglasses? Did you have a good day? Okay. We'll uh, show you where we're headed to dinner later. What is with you? Oh, my Lord. All right. I'm going to turn the camera off so they'll start acting normal again. All right. Well, we're here at dinner. We came to Moose's Down Under. We're pretty close to the Hyatt Regency here, and we got some pizzas coming and some chicken parm. Are you excited? Oh, heck yeah. Heck, heck yeah. Excited for some pizza, huh? We'll see how it is. And then we're going to get a nice early bedtime so we're ready for the cruise, right? Yeah. Are you excited about that? Yeah. This is kind of a little hole in the wall. It's actually in the basement of this building. Australia theme, but we will see how the food is. We kind of had to call an audible and where we went tonight. This wasn't really what we were planning, but uh, we'll see how it is. All right, so got us some poutine. Brexton's ready to dig into that. We've got a pizza for the boys. Mom got a pizza and a salad. And I got a chicken parm, which is a huge piece of chicken parmesan so Braxton you ready all right you ready to tear into it all right we're tired but hungry okay came to the bakery called Breca to get some little dessert and take it back to the room so we got a bag full it was crowded in there but the desserts look incredible we're gonna head back to the hotel and then we'll show them to you but we're going straight across here folks we're gonna head back and get in bed. You see Canada Place down there through the trees. We'll be there tomorrow. All right, well, hello. It is the next day. Uh, we came back last night from the little bakery and crashed. Um, I didn't even have a, I didn't even think about pulling out the camera and filming our desserts. They were delicious from that Brecca Bakery. Um, here it's about um, maybe three, maybe a quarter of a mile from. Um, three blocks or so from the higher Regency. Delicious. But we were zapped two late nights between the plane ride and the train. <laughs> and we were out and ready to get up and get on the cruise this morning. So we went to sleep um, nice and early. And so it was a great finish to the day. We had a wonderful day at Stanley Park. Um, the boys were a little bored early as we were just walking around the seawall. But once we got to the hiking stuff and through the middle of the park, they... They love that, so highly recommend uh, doing that. Um, the Prospect Point, you can actually go up there and have a nice, um, you can probably spend more time up there than we did, um, but just had a great, great time uh, yesterday uh, here in Vancouver. Uh, the dinner at the Moose Down Under was decent. I wouldn't highly recommend that place. Um, we were going to have dinner at a place we kind of just found online over on Granville Street and ended up over there, and it just didn't, it wasn't the safest and cleanest part of the city and so we decided to go somewhere else um it was really really crowded over there they had a th there was a festival going on in town and so it was just super crowded and not the best atmosphere for the kids and so we went to a different part of town we came back to the hotel area um, and went to moose down under and it was fine uh not a place i would highly highly recommend food wise but um, it was good and we were hungry uh, from from we did over nine miles of walking yesterday and so had a great day so come back and join us tomorrow thanks for watching make sure you subscribe we'll see you as on embarkation day tomorrow